Okay, um, here's a timeline of everything for the past three years. Um, starting in 2010, um, Christmas time when this game was supposedly, um, like, supposed to be based off of. It's probably released, like, in the middle of the year of 2010. Um, okay, Christmas Eve 2010. Um, Manhattan. Um, yeah, she was found at St. Thomas's Cathedral, which is like a church thing, right? Her, like a Catholic church thing? I forget, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you can read that. I had not a single memory, yeah, she had amnesia there. Um, yeah, and then we have this. You can tell me, um, if you see anything here you want me to read in the comments later. Um, like interesting or something, I don't know. I'm not going to read every single thing. I've already read like half of it. Um, yeah, there's that stuff. Oh wait, I should probably read present day. Oh wait, there was something cool. What was it? There's something here like, um... Never mind. Maybe that's later. Um, here are all the memories in this organization you're in to save the world or whatever. Um... I'm not going to read this. I'm just going to generally do this so you can read it there go through that and read it if you wish um then this guy um he i think found you on like at saint J um thomas not john um saint thomas's cathedral um yeah and wait what is it he became the newly formed counter He's the head of the CTI. Okay. Then this guy, he operates all computers and stuff, and he, like, hacked um, the NSA when he was 14 or something. Worked with anti terrorism until all this stuff happened. Yeah. Um, this guy, which I think was on the left. We saw at the beginning talking. Um, you probably don't want to know about this guy. He, I think he's pointless to the story. I'm not sure. They really go back on the. Okay, and these are all future characters. Um, the twisted. We have these massive things that like shank people with weird body ligaments, and these things that like um get bigger and destroy you with water pressure or something like some sort of Mega Man character. Okay. And then we have the computer. This is where I will be getting weapon upgrades and um, clothing with apparently better protection and stuff and then you can pay because the clothing eventually like, like it gets torn and stuff in battle and crap which is pretty weird because it's not really gear it's just normal clothing. Um, here's where I get to buy guns and change weapons and stuff and upgrade guns and, ah, uh, there's tons of stuff here. Um, then I can redo past episodes and levels and stuff. Now there's one more thing here. Where is it? Okay, energy settings. Now I don't know much about this, but I do know this helps you in some way i've never figured out the differences but anyways like these have to do with healing um antibodies i'm not really sure what those do anyways i think i installed these healing things down here there and that somehow helps me in a way i have healing level three and now since i have room i might as well install these here This has something to do with my DNA. Um, 
defense may increase, even though I'm the one controlling my character, so I don't really know much about this. Um, I don't really know the difference between that clip equip thing. I just always click it just in case. Um, and yeah. Right now I can buy this pistol thing, but I don't wanna. Now I'm about to start the next mission. Um, warning: the next cutscene is extremely um violent. Let me just talk to these peoples. We're sending you to the direct location of the sacrifice incident. That took place approximately one year ago. You're going to be focusing on taking out the battle. Yes, sir. The goal of your mission is to destroy the big orb within the Babel. This is said to be the core, or the main organ of the Babel. The heart that keeps it alive. I understand. Once that's done, it shouldn't be long before the Babel destroys itself. Yes, sir. If you get to the Babel soon after it spawns, there's a good chance it can be destroyed. It's just a chance, but it's the best we've got. Okay. Actually, I think Babel are like different. There's different ones, like monsters or something. Whatever. Talk to this I'm dude sorry you person. have to go again so quickly, Aya. Be careful. All right. I will. Ah, she actually answered. Oh, that was only two words. See, different. Oh wait, I need to check the audio to see if it's working so I don't have to repeat everything. Why do I keep forgetting? It would be horrible if I had to repeat everything. Now let's who, who do I get zapped into? Oh, so I just appear. Objective is to destroy the Babel's core, the big ore. Now I don't know why they don't just evacuate the area like arrive early and warn everyone about this instead of just let it all happen, but uh, it's part of the weird story that not that many people will understand. the thing I was sent to destroy, this thing. This is the biggest pain in the world to destroy. Aya, run! What the hell is that thing? You've got to be kidding me! I'm going in. Please help.
from behind objects. Overdive and attack them from their flank. Focus on the target. Dang it. Focus on the target. Backups on their way. Stay strong. Still don't understand why I'm the only one who has it. like I'm the only one who can do this. Really? Really? That, that's the most pointless backup I have seen in my life. There, just shoot the heck out of it. Thank you, no doc. Uh, this is going to take a while. I'm dead. Oh, nope, he's dead. Stop it! They're so annoying! Oh, they want me to do this, don't they? Yes! That's all I had to do. Wasted all my ammo. Just to pick it up over in this corner. Yeah! Oh, we did it. Go! Keep moving! Sadly, this is not even close to the end of this level thing. Um, okay. Here we go. This game gets a bit repetitive. Like, you go around the corner, you shoot some monsters, you go around the corner, you shoot some monsters. Countless numbers of sections are created as the babble grows. Either the twisted or the orbs have to be destroyed. In order for us to move forward. The warps are what um pretty much keep those vines up and I don't feel like searching for them, so I'm just going to kill everything. I'm not even sure if there is a orb that kept that wall up in that room. I'm not sure. This game slightly confuses me. Actually it really confuses me, but Massacre me, what am I doing here? Uh, hi. Oh yeah, she also makes a weird noise when you're out of ammo. Ah. Okay, now I think there was, ah, this was the thing that I was, I'm like, I think there was something over here, and yes, it was a monster. Ammo. Ammo, ammo. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Well, I think I'm going to pause it here, actually. And see what I mean how your um, clothing slowly gets destroyed, which is pretty weird. Um, yeah. I'm gonna save, edit, 
post this after The Walking Dead, and then, I don't know, something. Bye.